Hello everyone, Metzer here. I know it's been a while, but let's get to the next Let's Play project. As we're just going over the specs of my new computer here. No, no, I'm kidding. I wish my computer had this much memory. That's a lot of terabytes. So, this is Big Ben X. Just quickly going over his specifications here. Mega Buster Mark 17. What happened to the other 16 Mega Busters? I love this bit though. That's right! All the damage X, X would take throughout the entire series is only 7% of the damage you would normally take. And this flashy red warning of red flashiness is basically telling us that X is the closest thing to an android in this universe. He can make his own decisions and feel real emotions. But of course, since such a thing is really dangerous, uh, Stuck the light, we gotta create him, stuck him into a cow, sold him during years, just so we can confirm his reliability. Yeah, um, I'm not really entirely sure why it went so long before, uh, yeah, do the not disturb the capsule until 30 years have passed. I'm surprised no one listened to that. So, that's about it, and we're just gonna go to the tile screen here with really nice music, actually. In fact, though, the entire series of the first game has one of the uh, more recognized soundtracks here. I'm just gonna jump straight into the new game. To remain the third in the stage, we can jump, we can shoot. I recommend shooting everything that comes in your way, especially that thing, and this guy who takes a lot of fire. I want to shoot those things too. They're, they're, they can destroy the road, and that's no good for anyone. There he is I know. There he is here There you are. Ow! I couldn't kill him fast enough. I didn't jump high enough. So anyway, now it's time for a new boss, which is some sort of your, uh, bee copter. Just shoot it until you spawn enough away, and it'll just... The propeller just flies up and it just gives up a lot. And that's a new ability access, the wall jump. He can jump up a single wall, and that's actually going to be needed a lot throughout the series, so get used to it. Second Nitro boss, same thing. Yeah, he deploys those little, uh... Walker things there too. Any fires misses. I do recommend when you destroy these guys, I don't recommend moving too far forward too fast. Or you will end up crushed under it. I know from experience. Yeah, now the world's just collapsing on its own there. Who built this thing anyway? Well more importantly, I thought we did they really need to destroy it. Yeah, these guys, these guys are obnoxious. They stop right in front of you, fully expecting you to run into them. And when you do run into them, they fly up and laugh at you. Whoa! Learn to drive. Whoa! I'm sorry, I didn't move it. Broke down! Worst vehicle ever! I'll never see that part of that back either. So we have this giant carrier up here, and we need to destroy three of these cars. Or maybe two. Okay, I can do that. Oh, look at this guy with his fancy vehicle. Man. 
Show it. Show it, Ken. I'm not impressed in the slightest. You motherfucker. It's like, I'll teach you some traffic laws. Uh, except not really because you can't be this guy. At all. Not, not now, not later, certainly not in the next game. He's got Marcus here, we hear the sounds of the Charger Buster, and away goes his arm. It's some sort of robot with a blonde curry tail. I never thought it possible. This is Zero, and he's kind of like, kind of a jerk in this game. If you use all the abilities from the design you should become even stronger. Maybe some, maybe as powerful as I am. Probably not, but maybe. I'll see you when you get there. Bye now. Only password screen in Terra Series that has bets in it, and it's kind of awesome for that. So now we have to deal with uh, eight Mavericks. They're just running all over the map, all over the, uh, the city here, just causing havoc. And we have to go teach them a lesson. Uh, we can also look at their specifications too if you really want to. It serves absolutely no purpose, but <laughs> it's there. I'm gonna go after this guy first. He looks easy enough. Chew Penguin! Some sort of winter. Looks like wintery apocalypse uh, happened in this forest. Just gonna try to get through as quickly as possible here. Yeah, if you get hit by that guy's, uh, logs... Oh! Alright, that's back in heat! Well, if you got hit by that, uh, Cutter's logs there, he, he mocks you. He laughs at you. Why did I, what did I tell you to do? Shoot everything in your way! I didn't follow my own advice. Long, but make it. What? It's a little, it's a little lame part there. Oh, what's this? Is this odd? It's Dr. White! So you come. He gave exhibitions on path in life, but the world said, Peace! Uh-uh, not having that. And because Dr. Light predicted this happened, he turned himself into an AI and started creating these armor capsules for X to use. Uh, there's some more pieces in the set? Collect them all. This is the leg upgrades, which I don't know if you saw through all the text there, but this gives us the acceleration system that we were promised in that intro specification there. Whee! This is pretty much our substitute for the dash, because we were closer to the ground, and uh, a lot faster. Now... Wait. Now, when you uh, fire a normal shot with the uh, buster while, while you're dashing, It'll do the same amount of damage as a half charge shot. And this is a white armor. We can dash in it and we can punch things. Well, not anymore. I got rid of it. Can't take it very far can't take it very far anyway. Whoa! He's flinging snowballs at us now. They've evolved this far. Whoa! Uh, I look something up there. Alright, well, we finally made the chill penguin here. He's not too hard of a boss, but don't underestimate him. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, exercise bar starts off much, much smaller than the classic Mega Hands ever did. Oh. 
Yeah, that's the shotgun ice there. Whoa. Woo. Three, four, shoot. Yeah, this guy has a ow. Yeah, he has an ow. Uh, but yeah, he uh jumps back whenever you hit him with that uh with uh, your X Buster. Whoop! Again. Fortunately his own ice sculptures block his shop and ice. Do something, thank you. I dashed right into that. Whoa! Whoa! No penguins out for me. <laughs> wow, that was close. Yeah, you really start feeling that low health bar early in the game. Huzzah! And for the fiend, uh, Chill Penguin here, we get this little weapon gets screen, and we get the shotgun eyes! I really like this weapon. Yeah, it, it doesn't look very impressive, but when it hits a wall and it splits into backfiring shots. It's like a backspread. Now, normally, when I play an X game, I usually go for the armor first, as opposed to any weak disorders. So we're taking this guy off next. It's Storm Eagle! <clears throat> uh, right. Oh, there's something up there. Oh. Catwalk, jump up that. Yeah, uh, dash shots even in midair, so keep that in mind. Whoa. Ah! No! And away I go. It wasn't the enemy that killed me, but the knockback. All because I missed my platform. Alright. Let's try this again. Wahoo! Now we need another attack here. That is a life bar. It extends X's health bar by a few units. There's eight in, eight in each game, and when you collect them all, uh, you'll get get your full powered health bar. Whoa! No. Oh, that's right. I have a weapon. I should be using this. Yeah, the shotgun ice is really useful. It does about the uh, same amount of damage as a charge as a charge shot. Whoa! What an explosion! And that's a sub tank. Um, you can charge when your life is full. You can charge that up with uh, life energy, and you can use it uh, whenever you need a quick pick me up. These ones. because they're fire turrets, and they get, like to appear on every single platform. Well, not that time, but almost every single platform. Just a waste of my time. Uh. I am not. Yeah, I was Time to get another armor armor uh, capsule, and it's right over there. Shoot them. Shoot these things here. It goes a lot faster if you have some weapon, but I don't have it. But the X Buster works just fine. I might call it the Mega Buster, but that's just supposed to happen. 
This is a head modification. It allows us to break ceilings with a headbutt. It allows us to break blocks like these. All right, please, please download faster. By jumping into them, or with a wall kick. It's like the helmet itself is also very impressive looking. Practical, but impressive. Get the weapon out. Yeah, there's a life. I probably need that. Probably need that. Mets! They're everywhere! They're back! They didn't abandon me after all. I can't get out of I could get out. The ship take the ship. This is a ship, and it's taking it off. This big spire seems like to get on screen somewhere. There's the boss door there. Fall down here. We can get some help from weapon energy. Look, I'm actually going to be using weapons against Storm Eagle. Whoa! Just annihilated that ship. And of course, the big bird doesn't like that, so now we have to fight him. Uh. Whoa! That was right into it. Wait, did I just off screen his egg? I think I off screen his egg attack. Holy fuck! Stupid Eagle just got even easier! Oh, oh, he's flying up! Hit him! Hit him again! I can't believe I can actually off screen his eagles. Eagle! That's an uh, eight attack! Wow! Head, head, he's defeated with absolutely no damage done to him. I almost ran into him, but that's a different matter all entirely. Yeah, Storm Eagle is really, really easy. <laughs> Especially if you have the dash. If you don't have the dash, he's actually kind of a threat because you can't really fight against the wind. But we get the Storm Tornado, which is a pretty powerful weapon when you use it. Huh. Imagine how that works out. Alright, next up to that, which is actually in weakness order. The Flame Mammoth. And this is a fire level. Or so I thought. What's all this snow doing here? That's so weird. Well, this happens because I defeated Chill Penguin first. Yeah, when you defeat certain certain mavericks, uh, ow. when you defeat certain mavericks, uh, other maverick stages will get uh, changed. Surprisingly enough. Like, since I defeat Chill Penguin, this area is kind of frozen over. This is normally very, very dangerous lava. Not anymore. And that's where I need to go next. Um. Uh, oh, no. I don't think I get it now. Yeah, I can't get this now. Oh, uh, well, I'll have to come back to that. I have a weapon. I have a weapon. I should probably use this. I can at least get the two other things here. I think I should have shot the next as well. Huzzah! Yeah, these are the Pikmin from Mega Man 1, too, so... They may have appearance. Ow! And, oh, once again, it's another enemy that mocks you for getting hit by them. It's this... Movies are so mean in this game. Just the a pick, I swear on my face. I played Blake, too! This was... This enemy has serious problems. That... Thank you. This way. Get it. Uh, and I'm still taking the second of four. Wait, the shotgun I was banned from dash from dashing? Dash boosting too? Wow. 
Actually, I never noticed that. I think it does. Wow. Well, it's basically your Xbox was shot. Full power anyway, so... That's... Hmm. All the times I've played through this game, I've never actually really picked up on that detail. Ignoring you, because you're kind of like a Sniper Joe, and you're kind of annoying. And we've been the Mammoth, who is weak to the Storm Tornado, but I'm not going to be using that. On him, anyway. Yet. Oh, look, it's a conveyor belt. And there he is. Ow! Yeah. One thing I, I don't like about playing Mammoth is that... I can't hit him, no. Uh, that oil is not very threatening by itself. But, uh, watch me, uh... But if, it, if he launches fire and that hits the oil, um... It lights on fire, um, fittingly enough. Oh! Motherfucker just jumped on me! Oh, yeah, see, there's, uh, the fire wave. Whoa! Go ahead, me, please. Thank you. Well, um, yeah, that was a thing. So, the thing about it isn't too funny to the Maverick, you just have to be aware of his size. And the fact that he likes to jump, and whenever he lands, he shakes the earth. But we get the fire wave, which is another variance what we use. But half of the weapons in this game are actually very nice to use, but now I need to go back onto the stage and hopefully not screw up again. I want my upgrade. Oh. Fortunately, it's not actually too far into the stage, so if I have to retry it, it'll actually. Yeah, I missed. I missed again. Yeah, this... This can happen to you. No, no, no. Get on. Get up there, yes! Second test success. Now, what do you get for all of this? Uh, buster upgrades. You can now charge special weapons, and you also get access to the Overcharge. Which X will helpfully demonstrate for us uh, right now. It's actually really not that gross, but you can charge special weapons with an aspect of it. I'm done here, so let's move on to. The final armor piece was in the disguise stage. I will have to run through here twice because I can't get a, I can't get the life up without going to a another stage first. But anyway, the fire wave. It's a short range attack, but it just it hits so fast and so rapidly it destroys a lot of things. Also, ambush mats. Here. Yeah, we'll have to fight this big boss. Which comes completely out of nowhere. And it has way too much health. You'll let it grab you. You want to use uh, weapons that can hit multiple times. How did that not hit? Like, ow. Like, getting hit twice by him. Oh, I'm not hitting him at all. Uh, his weak point is that little tiny head, and I'm not dashing like I should be. Come on. Hit the cell! 
I'm not dashing! I should be dashing, why is it why is my dash? No! I got cracked. It doesn't do that much damage to you, he just has way too much health. How did that how is that not me? Oh come on! It. Oh. Am I really going to fight this one? Oh, he's starting to smoke! Now that he's smoking, that means he's actually getting close to death. Storm Tornado works fairly well on him. I don't believe Fire Wave actually does that. Going here, and he screws it up. He's getting there. Whoa! Okay, I refuse. Oh no 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 no! no. So, select them. Probably kind of works well on him, but no matter what you use against him, throw against him, well, it's gonna take a while. He just has way too much health. And the last armor uh, upgrade in the game, which is body armor, it has the damage you take. So now I'm only taking three point five percent damage instead of seven. Puff, I say. Well, that's the hour fully complete. Did I just get some health up from you? Um, okay, there we go. Um, I'll oh, see, so yeah, down here is where the, thing, where the uh, life up is, but I can't get them yet. It's Rockman against Rockman. Can I ignore these guys? No, I can't. <laughs> oh, well, that's done. Oh. I was just complaining about it. I was getting low on no. I should like it. Which I might need. And a right on now. Punch to the three. Uh oh, the enemy has a right armor too. I was like, I, can't. I was like, I can't get my right armor out of the swamp. I suppose that's one way to uh, well disable an enemy Mac. Go away. Just uh, let it build it. Have it uh, build. Get out of the swamp to try to get through it. Well, I won't end well for it. Right here. The right armor has its own health bar. And I can't take another boss anyway, so. Um, alright. Uh, Sting Chameleon. He's actually a little bit of a challenge with his weakness. Not too overly much. Also, by the way, those are actually points in the ceiling. They will hurt, but they're not instant kill. So this Duke is just going to jump straight over my head and swing around. Oh. I can lie to him. Yeah, he goes invisible. And he tries to take advantage of that. There we go. That's what I was expecting him to do. Throw a tongue lashing. This motherfucker!
Yeah, the overcharge doesn't really do very well against bosses. I lost my charge. And I lost my chance to hit him. Oh, too slow. Gotcha. Ah, Fuck it. Tom watch me like five times there. Whoa. Oh, God. I might actually lose to him. I'm not entirely sure yet. Up. Ah, and then his rep tongue lashing. There's one charge away, too. Ah, let's try this again. You and me, let's do this. This. It's like, whoa, what was it? What the? Just tongue lashed me from that far away. I was not supposed to be able to do that. We'll see your shenanigans, Stevie Billion. Yeah, see, if you, get too, if you get too far away from him, he just. He just vanishes and can't hurt him. Yes, go up there. Come on, work with me. There we Ah, yeah. there you go. And that's how you, um, kind of deal with Steam Chameleon. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's way more of a challenge than I was with this. Is that the Then we get the Chameleon Sting, which is also another uh, really nice weapon. Try directional shot. But that is four Mavericks down, and four more to go. I will see you another time. Take care now.